That's Deja's uh, request, Paradise by BTS, for this week. She was our Scholar of the Week last week. She got all of her work caught up on in one week. She worked super hard, asking lots of great questions. So who's going to be the next Scholar of the Week? Who's going to get the next music to put in the beginning of the video? I'll use other parts of her song to transition between parts of today's video as well. So thank you, Deja, for submitting that. Still don't have very great editing software, so I can't seamlessly blend things together. But... Um, Actually, a great song. I enjoyed it. My first time listening to BTS. Other than, I think, one time cleaning up the science lab, I think Bella played something. I don't know. So, this week, we are onto our last area lesson. And this is area of shapes with fractional sides. Should be really quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over the, each part of the problems. Just making sure getting the general idea of how to solve each one as we go through. So, here we go. Measurement. Lesson 10. Finding area of shapes with fraction sides. Get your problem solving tasks open up from Google Docs uh, in your Google Classroom fo folders. Load up the problem solving task. Here we go. All right, here we go again. We are looking at our problem solving task. We see we have an area of a rectangle below. It's 3 7 meters and 9 10 meters. The question is, what is the area of this rectangle? And we should know how to do this already uh, based on skills we've learned from the whole year. So put it together. Try it right now to solve it for yourself. Go for it. All right, hopefully you took some time and tried this question on your own. Uh, what you're doing is you're trying to find the area of a shape. We know that area, I'm going to write my font a little bigger, people so they can't see it. Area equals length times width. And in this simple shape we see here that the length, the longer side, is 9 tenths meters. And the shorter side is 3 7 meters. So I know right away that area equals 9 tenths times 3 7 To solve this question, all I need to really remember is how to multiply fractions. And it's been a while since we've done this. Um, but if we have a 9 tenths on the top and 3 7 on the side, all you need to remember is that you do the numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator. Uh, that's how you multiply fractions. So, uh, quick note, I'll put that down in the, the review afterwards, but remember that numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator, and we see the area equals 9 times 3 on top, so that's 27, and then 10 times 7 on the bottom, 70ths. And I'm going to take a break to show you why that actually makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to pause here and show you on paper. All right, so what I've drawn to show this is real, real quick is we have 9 tenths and 3 sevenths. And this is not a strategy you need to use. This is just a proof of why this works. So imagine this is one whole, but we only have 9 tenths on it. And this is one whole, but we only have 3 sevenths of it. This is just like doing fractions with the area model we saw before. So now I'm going to shade in this up. So I don't have one whole. I don't have one whole. Because I don't have a And then going down, I'm only going to have three sevens. So I'm going to I have my rectangle. Figure it out, camera. Nine tenths across, three sevenths down. There's 27 pieces shading. 27 out of the whole, which would be 70. That's a proof. You can use it or leave it, but it lets you know how it works. So when we're doing fraction area, we solve the problem solving task and a minute is easy. Uh, we should remember that we're multiplying the length times the width to find area, as always. We need to remember how to multiply fractions. Multiply the numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator. Easy enough. But some of our questions are going to have mixed numbers in it. And remember, when we multiply mixed numbers, 
you need to make sure you multiply the mixed numbers as improper fractions. So you need to turn the mixed number into an improper fraction before you multiply. And that's just going to have to do something you have to remember. Um, and so when you see those mixed numbers in there before you find the area, turn them into improper fractions, then get the area. Just like on Monday's lesson, we had to convert our units before multiplying to find area. Finding area is the last step you do. Okay? So make sure you have that happen as we go into our guide of practice. Let's go back to it. All right, to find the area of the rectangle in our first guide of practice question, we see the length is 5 sixths and the width is 1 third. I just need to, you can edit the picture if you want, but really it's just a matter of finding the area. So I'm going to say area equals length. Ooh, that box is not in the right spot for me to move it away. Length times width. In this case, area equals one third times five sixths. Unfortunately, there's not really a good way to draw, draw, draw right fractions in Google Docs is the best you're gonna get. So numerator times numerator, one times five, one times five is five, and denominator slash denominator times denominator, three times six is 18, five eighteenths. And my unit is square meters. I might've forgotten that problem solving task. Apologize. Let's move on to the next one. This is a little bit trickier. Um, and we see this is a unit, one unit by three unit rectangle shown below. So it's three across, and this is one. But I just want to know what the, just the shaded rectangle is. And this is going to be a little bit trickier. I'm going to make this a little smaller so it's space to work on this page. Because in this case, the area as always, equals length L, I'm going to L times W to save time, but area equals the length is easy, it's three. We have the full length, but we only have one half of the width. It's not one whole, it's times one half. And to turn to figure this out, I need to make three into an improper fraction. Three is three holes, and to have three three holes, I'm going to draw what that looks like, insert a drawing. Three holes as a fraction is literally just three, rec three holes, three boxes. And they're not broken into any pieces because there's no denominator. So we say three holes as a fraction, could be we can write it as three holes or three over one. Three ones. Three over one. Okay? So I'm gonna just write that as it's just a way of proving that to you. So three times one half is gonna become I'm gonna go back over there. Area equals three over one times one half. It's not the only way to solve it, but there's other, that's the easiest way to think of when you want to use the algorithm. Now I just do three times one equals three, and one is my denominator times two is my denominator, two, three over two. And that's gonna be, if you would say it's three, three halves um, square units, you could say. But if you want to make me happy, you would say three over two simplified to a, a mixed number would be one, three and a half, or one and one half square units. Ooh, that got on the next page. That's weird. All right. Now let's go into a uh, similar one where we have two in inches and three fourth inches. I'm not going to prove as much here. I'm just going to write it out. Area equals length times width. In this case, my length area equals two, my length, my longer side, times three fourths. But just as we talked about before, this two, I want to write as a mixed number, uh, this, mix, this whole as an improper fraction. That's going to be area equals two over one times three over four. Again, another way to do it is just say two times three over four. Um, that's fine too. Um, but either way works for you. Um, works for me, but this is going to be 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 times 4 is 4. Makes sense. 2 times 3 fourths is 6 fourths. It's 3 fourths plus 3 fourths, and that's going to be square inches.
There you have it. And we go on to our last hardest one. That it, there is one just like this in the guided bracket on the end. I'm oh, sorry, the eggs dig it. So take your time right now. Try it yourself before you solve it with me. All right. So we're going to find this area. And hopefully you tried it already and you also thought about what I said earlier in the video. And that is that when you multiply a mixed number times a mixed number, you cannot do it the way it is. You need to convert that mixed number to an improper fraction first. Um, but let's just say we're setting up the problem. We say area equals length times width. We know that already. In this case, area equals 2 and 1 third. It's on the longer side. Times 1 and 1 half. That's my shorter side. Now what I need to do is turn 2 and 1 third into a mixed, an improper fraction, or a fraction greater than whole and 1 and a half. If you don't know how to do that, I'm going to link how to convert um, mixed numbers to improper fractions in the description below, so you can kind of get a quick lesson on that. It's going to be a Khan Academy video or a, another kind of video to show you how to do that. Um, I'm not going to spend time doing that in this video, though. Um, to turn 2 and 1 third into an improper fraction, all I need to do is 2 times 3 is 6 plus one. That's how many thirds I have, because each hole is three thirds. So I have two, three thirds, and then one third more. So it's two times three, six plus one is seven. So the area equals seven thirds times one and a half. I see this one all the time, I can do it in my head, but it's one times two is two plus one. That's going to be three halves. So it's seven thirds times three halves. Same thing as before. I just need to multiply my numerator. 7 times 3 is 21. And the denominator is that the denominators times each other. 3 times 2 is 6. 21 sixths. Um, and you can, and in the exit ticket, if you don't send it back to a mixed number, uh, you'll get points. I prefer if you tried it. So it's, you can say two, 21 sixths square inches. Or you can turn that back by using division. 21 divided by 6. Well, that goes, 6 goes in 21 three times, or you can subtract six is three, and there's three sixths more, three and three sixths square inches, because six, six goes into 21 three times with three left over. Um, really want to be an all-star, you could say it's or three sixths, you know that is equal to one half, three and one half square inches. And that's it, folks. That's how you do it. There's some Khan Academy practice here with similar questions like the ones we just saw. And there's an independent practice to finish and solve and submit. When you're done, go to your Edge Elastic quiz and show me what you've got. Go for it, folks. That's it for fractional sides and finding area. Just remember to always turn mixed numbers to improper fractions before you multiply them. Otherwise, you're not going to get the right answer. That's it for the lesson today. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. And a little bit. Hope you see you.